Hey guys, I'm here today going to do a model review of the brand new CCM 245 ME, which is actually the FS version that they pulled in. They pulled in about 400 of them and only 395 were made. I don't know if they kept the other five, but I was told through resources that there were 500 of them. I mean 400. But yeah. With this, it's a nice machine. Modeled very nicely. Comes with the brochure and the authenticity card and signed with the number 260 and 395. But I will review this with the other group of 245s I have because there is quite a few changes on this and for you guys who actually collect these ones would know what the changes are but first the capular it's all done up nice it's done perfectly a third party did this one because CCM is fully packed up with doing other models and as you guys know they're doing a contractor series of some of the most popular machines that have yet to be picked out except the 416 and the 259 but you can see it's got the cab guard up top which is pretty much what the ME had. Moves easy. Sorry guys, this is a busy road. The paint is matched up nice. Turns very well. 245 decals done up nice. But you can see there is a nice gap right here on both sides because I think that's a new one but who knows but it's got nicely detailed door hinges so you can open the compartment nice etched out grill as you can see most of these models you can usually pull them out but this one's a little tight so I'm not going to bother with it but you know there's a detailed motor in there the caterpillar right here is raised like they did on the real machine the hoses are done up differently on this too but they're are uh, pretty much heavy rubber or plastic I should say with rubber lines going up now this has got the thin track for all the for like the applications for mining and all that stuff so this was a good mining machine to say. It's got the detailed lights. Cab. You got the long stick in the middle is to steer the machine. The two foot pedals. One's for forward, one's for reverse. You got the joysticks to control the boom and stick, the bucket, and all that fun stuff. It's got a suspension seat in it. The handrails are metal. Plastic here. Looks like the mold right here, they didn't cut to right right here. But hey. And I'll show you how you can another reason how you can tell. This is the front shovel that they pulled in. Now the catwalks are etched out. And the grill is completely different. Well, I wouldn't say the grill, but the air vent is different from the other three 245s they actually made. Um, but you can see the hosing a lot clearer. You can see the filters and top of the motor, the fuel tank, the hydraulic tank. A little door latch there so you can put chains or whatever in there. It's good configuration. The tracks are nicely done with the bolt pattern. Got the little step rails right there. And the little rollers do roll. So you can see you got track detoners, which is nice. Underneath, you can see more of the motor. So that's got a good air vent system, unlike the new ones. The number, the, this is the this is the hydraulic drive right here for the old 245s. You can see it's made in China because they have it right up stamped underneath the cab. All the cat logos are done up nice. 
Um, the lights wore off right here. We're off the FS, and I'll show you on that too. But you compare this with a couple of different machines. Sprockets are done up nice, but there is no no uh, rollers down at the bottom. You can see, but still a great piece. I was taken back by the price. A little bit, but hey. But this is how you can tell it is the French shovel, which I have. Because the lights on this are the same, as well as the cab guard up top. It's got a nice beef. They both have nice beefy stacks. Um, as you can tell, that's where the third hydraulic is supposed to be. Is right on that side. So, guess these weren't selling, and they wanted to get rid of them. But. Who knows? Like I said, it's lights got everything you could possibly want on a 245. So this is your height, pretty much. Your depth goes pretty well. Good for embankments and stuff. If I can get this on even ground here. That is how low it goes. It looks good loading a769 as one of the other guys put it up to be it's got the height for it so you can compare those two also looks good even if you got a 983 helping you load so looks good compared with that so you say if you're loading rock off an edge and uh, dump truck can't come in then yeah also looks good trying to load that which is the 660 coal hauler pretty much you need to hit it from the side though tame it better or curved like that but right now I'll do a quick comparison on the regular 245 escalator you can see it's got the one it's different lights as you can tell the grill difference or the air vents up top you both of these and the light setup's different you know the boom sticker longer on the standard 245 but pretty much everything it pretty much has got the Y track on it said uh, thin glossers but it's got the double glossers on them as you guys know the 245 series is one of my favorites so, put them all together for a sec. And there you have it. A quick summary of the, the four 245 CCM has made in their time. Hopefully they make more, I doubt it though. But they're on to big things. So let's see what's coming out. And also they all have the same display panel inside. Supposedly with all the controls and what things do like the switches for the fan, the heat, and all that. Then you got the gauges for like warnings and stuff like that. Pressure fuel. So it's a well done machine guys. If you guys have a chance to get it, I'd recommend getting it as soon as possible since there was only $3.95 out there. Um, pair it with all your other old CCMs. I give it a 10. It's done up perfect. Well, I wouldn't say perfect, but the bucket could have used a little bit more of heavy garden and longer teeth. But what can you do? The guarding is eh, on it. Rates of movement on it does kind of suck still. But what can you do? It can be fixed. So it's whatever you guys want to do. The handrails are all metal and strong. So don't have to worry about plastic or anything on these things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, got more coming in soon and looking forward to talking to you guys some more.